Tesla finally seems to be addressing one of the biggest concerns a lot of us have had with the Cybertruck and towing long distances in general. Because in Santanella, we finally have some confirmation on some pull-through trailer-optimized and, in my opinion, Cybertruck-optimized superchargers. So you can obviously see a bunch of stalls that are just built for regular cars, but then about four stations that you can actually pull into without having to unhook your trailer and still supercharge very quickly. This is in Santanella, so there have been a few other superchargers on the East Coast that seem to have stalls that are wider than typical supercharging stalls, but not quite pull through. These are the first times we're seeing charging stations that even have like designated availability spots to be like, hey, your longer EV can park here and charge, which I think is very important for towing. And we've been talking about it for years. So I think Tesla still might be a little bit late on this if Cybertruck deliveries are supposed to start next year. But this conversation with towing definitely comes up a lot with the range discussion because I'm under the belief that because the demand for the Cybertruck is so high and Ford and Rivian are having no problem selling electric pickup trucks with around 300 miles of range, plus the energy density of the 4680 battery appeared to be not quite as high as a lot of us were thinking, I'm predicting that the Cybertruck is not going to launch at least with a 500 mile range because they know that there's plenty of people that are still willing to pay top dollar for a 300 mile range variant. But whenever I bring that up, people say that no, 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 Drew, Tesla has to do a 400 or 500 mile range Cybertruck because there's a lot of people that do towing and long distances with their truck. When you're towing, that range gets cut in half. So 300 mile range quickly turns into 150 miles and a 500 mile range Cybertruck cuts into a 250 mile range Cybertruck. And while you're correct, there is a range issue with towing. That's not the sole solution because, okay, let's say I'm wrong and you guys are right. And they decide to announce a 500 mile range Cybertruck. And of course that's going to be super expensive because it's going to need like at least a 180, probably 200 kilowatt hour battery pack, which means there's going to be less availability. The price is going to be well over six figures and Tesla could easily get away with it because there's very few vehicles with a 500 mile range in the first place, but whatever. You're right. Now they've launched a truck, but they have to accommodate with all of these tiny supercharging stalls across the country, most of which are not pull through supported, which means that, all right, even if you can go 250 miles between supercharging stops, you still have to unhook the trailer or consume five or six supercharging stalls at the same time, which would not be ideal. A lot of other Tesla owners would get ticked off at you. So while yes, the range would help with cross-country towing, it doesn't fix the supercharging problem. And I think that Tesla is going to have to pick one or the other, maybe not both to help alleviate supercharging on the road because batteries are in such short supply and Cybertrucks are so high in demand. So that's why I'm predicting using fewer cells per vehicle will allow them to build more trucks. And while yes, you'll have to stop more frequently while doing cross country towing, it might be easier for Tesla to just expand more on the supercharging network with dedicated pull through stalls like this one. That way you don't have to unhook your trailer and you can just pull up, start charging. And yeah, you may have to do that more frequently, but I think a lot of people in the EV world are more comfortable with that. You know, the main reason people are interested in buying electric pickup trucks is for their torque, their acceleration, and the lower cost of ownership. Pickup trucks in general are much less efficient than sedans and crossovers. So that's why there's tons of people, including my grandparents, paying hundreds of dollars a month in gas or diesel costs, and they want to bypass that by charging from home or charging from solar. And even high peak supercharging rates can be cheaper than it would be to pay for gasoline. So yeah, your cross country trip may take a bit longer with a Cybertruck, but if you're able to top off and you don't have to go through the annoyance of unhooking the trailer and backing into your stall, which is already really, really crammed, and then have to hook up your trailer all over again, that I think will make the cross country tracks a lot easier than just pumping more batteries into the truck. So, okay, you don't have to stop as often. We're not going to be able to build as many trucks and the trucks are going to be less efficient and they're going to cost way more, but you get an extra 100 miles when you're cross country towing. Okay, that's one solution. Or Tesla can just double down on the supercharging network with more stations like this and build more trucks and make them relatively more affordable. I still think they'll be expensive, but definitely not as expensive as they would be if they all had 500 miles of range. Maybe down in the future, if Cybertruck demand ever slows down, which is hard to imagine, they would start launching higher range versions of the Cybertruck, but I'm not getting my hopes up for it for the same reason Tesla didn't end up going forward with the Plaid Plus Model S and the reason Rivian has delayed the max battery pack so many times. They clearly just want to focus on building 300 mile range trucks and there's clearly demand for it. But before you say this is just for towing and this isn't Cybertruck optimized or anything, just look at some of the pictures the Tesla owners of San Joaquin Valley got. These charging stalls are wide. They 
they are clearly optimized for vehicles, not just the Model 3 and Y, or even the Model X, which isn't that much wider than the Model Y in the first place. This is clearly built for pickup trucks, towing, and that's why I'm considering this one of the first cyber-optimized superchargers, which is a good sign, should make towing easier, and hopefully Tesla can figure out where the majority of Cybertruck reservation holders are, where they plan on towing, and build more pull-through stations there. And it'd also be cool to highlight those in the supercharging map, because Teslas have tow mode, so maybe when you have tow mode on, the in-map navigation on the software can say, hey, these are all of the pull-through stations that you can charge at, which should make cross-country towing even easier than it would be with a Rivian or an F-150 Lightning right now, which don't really have that software or charging network advantage that Tesla has. But what do you guys think of the pull-through station design? Do you want to see more of these? Do you still want the high range, or is this helping convince you that you might be able to live with 300 miles? All that good stuff, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you to everyone on Patreon supporting this channel directly. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos, so thanks again, have an excellent rest of your day.